I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA house task storage combination. All this is going to be in two parts. And in this part, part two, we're going to assemble the top cabinet with the glass doors. And I'm going to show you how to join this top cabinet with the bottom cabinet. And in a part one, I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA house the cabinet with the plinth. That's the bottom cabinet. But for now, let's do the part two where we assemble the top cabinet. Let's do it. And you're getting two boxes with this top cabinet manual instructions you're not going to need if you're going to follow this video i'm going to open both boxes quickly just for you to see how much stuff you're getting you're going to get one box with the screws with the two plastic bags full of screws and brackets and everything you need you're going to open bag number one first bag number two is the connection to join those two units together which we're going to need later on you have a few hinges door handles here Let's open the bigger bag first. I like to organize everything what is in the bag so I know better what I'm working with. And we do exactly the same with the small bag. Just open it up, organize everything. Then we can start with the side panels. You see the lines on the side panels out on the outer side. Big holes here, smaller holes here. We're going to need four them plugs. And we're going to place them in to the top side of the side panels. Two on each side panel. Watch where I'm putting them, which holes, don't put them in the other ones. Now we're going to need those screws. Going to be three for each side panel on one side. Go just till the stopper, not deeper, not higher on the screw. I'm referring to this part as a stopper. If you're going to go deeper or higher, you're going to have a problem to lock the other panels together. Exactly the same on the other side. Three screws, secure them in. Now we're going to need those metal locks. Place them in, three for each side panel, and arrow on the lock pointing to the front hole on the edge. This rule apply to all the locks. Exactly the same for the second side panel, arrow on the lock pointing to the front hole. Now we're going to need this bottom panel. One side plane, one side colored, front colored, and back plane with the holes. Two wooden plugs on each side, place them in, watch out for the holes when I'm putting them, do exactly the same and you're going to be fine at the end. Secure them in with a hammer. Now we're going to have exactly the same metal locks, place them in to the bottom panel three on each side and exactly the same arrow pointing to the front hole on the edge on each of them. Now this side is plain, this side is colored. The colored side is going to be the inner side. And the plain side is going to go at the bottom. Secure them together with the side panel. Secure all three locks by twisting them to the right side. See the front edge is both colored. Now we can put this down here this way. And we're going to secure the second side panel. Just position the side panel. Secure it in. And twist the locks to the right side to secure the connection. We're going to have the top panel, one side with the holes, one side plain. We're going to need the same screws, three for each side of this bottom panel. Secure them in just till the stopper, as previously. Now we can place it in, find all the holes on both sides, tap it in. Once you're completely in, you can secure the locks by twisting them to the right side. On both sides. Now we're going to have a bottom panel, one side white, one side colored. You have these holes on the top and the edges are slightly cut. On the other side you have line of holes and the corners are squared. On the top where is the holes, two holes, the edges are slightly trimmed. So just place that part in first and slide it all the way in at the end. Lift it up slightly so you get into the gap on the top and push it all the way in. Now we're going to need those plastics. Place them in at the bottom. Is it going to be four of them? And secure them with this other part of the plastic, the slimmer one. We just push that in. And that's going to secure the connection at the bottom. Now you have this other type of plastic, 
this is the thicker part and we secure the sides and the top this way just slide it in free on our sides free on the top and free on the other side second part of the plastic is the slim part which is gonna open the first part once you slide it in and secure the back panel in the frame place it in all of them push it in completely as much as you can and the back panel is secured now we can lift it up we're gonna have this L bracket with the two screws and we place them into the top panel that stopper for the doors on the top Position the screws in exactly the same way on each of them, so the doors gonna be equal. Now we have those rubber stickers. Place them in at the front. That just reduces the sound when the door's gonna close, like a wood on the metal. So it's gonna soften the sound, soften the closing. That's how it looks, and you see the screws are exactly the same on each of these L brackets. Now we have the bottom stoppers. This is the screws you're gonna need and secure them in at the bottom. You have two holes in the bottom panel. This is gonna be the plugs for the shelves. Place them in. The plug have slightly curved part on one side and that's coming into the holes. The straight part is up. That's where the shelf's gonna sit on. You're gonna have six on each side as we have uh, three shelves here. You're gonna have two type of hinges, two self-closing, two not self-closing. Position the door exactly same as I have it here. You're gonna have easy time. Self-closing hinges, two of them. That's the plastic, that's the self-closing hinge. Place it in on the top, secure it with the two screws which are already in the hinge. Now the self-closing on the other side on the top, secure it with the two screws. Not self-closing hinge at the bottom, secure it with the two screws. Secure the screws completely in so the hinge is not sticking out. Exactly the same on the other side. So not soft closing hinge at the bottom. Now we're gonna place the doors and the soft closing is on the top. Secure it with the two screws. Screws are already attached to the hinge, so you're gonna have easy time to secure it. Exactly the same at the bottom, two screws at the door two screws on the top and it's going to be two screws at the bottom. These hinges are good, have a three way to adjust, uh, adjust them. If your doors are not lining up, you can adjust them in, out, left, right or up and down. But first, before we're going to adjust the doors, we're going to attach the door handle. So one screw from the inner side securing the door handle. And exactly the same for the other door. Screw from the inner side securing the door handle. Now these hinges, you see we don't have almost gap at the bottom so we're gonna need to adjust the door. So these hinges, they have a three way adjustment. So one in and out, one up and down, and this one left and right. Uh, for us, the left and right gonna work as we need to move the door slightly to the right side to open the gap on the middle. Once you're good, you can put the shelves in. You're gonna have this frame on the middle where the glass panel gonna go. This line, that's the back and colored part on the front. You have the holes at the bottom without the holes on the top. So where is the holes coming into the plugs we just did previously? Place all three shelves in first. You can put the glass on the middle into the frame. Go slowly here, just push, put it down nicely. All three of them. That's gonna be the glass shelf on the middle. Now at the back of this unit you're gonna have those two plastics. That's in case you want to attach the unit to the wall but I put them in anyway even we're not gonna do it in this case. This is the spacer second part of the plastic if you have a skirting board so you can space out how far you want to go from the wall. Other side exactly the same plastic in and the spacer on the top. Now we can join them together, but this unit is very heavy. So I would suggest to people, if you alone, take the shelves and the doors off before you're gonna join those two units together. So you can place the units on the top of the bottom unit and line up the sides and the back. 
once you're in the right position open back number two you're gonna have two metal brackets in there two screws two kind of plastics one thicker one smaller exactly the same as we did in a back panel that's the bigger part that is the smaller part place the bracket in right on the middle and line up on the edges just like that exactly the same on the other side place it in now you have the thicker part of the plastic and place it in it's gonna be four for each bracket Just push it completely in exactly the same on the other side four for the second bracket as well smaller part of the plastic i'm gonna place that in the thicker part secure the connection this way exactly the same on the other side four of them securing the connection now we're gonna have those two screws and that's gonna finish the whole thing right on the middle so there is pretty little holes in the bracket just secured it in on one side and exactly the same on the other side. Once you join the unit together this way, put the shelves back in and the glass panels on the middle. And that's how you assemble IKEA house to storage combination. If you like to see how the bottom unit is done, check the part one IKEA house to cabinet with the print assembly link in the description. Thank you for watching guys. Have a fantastic day and see you in my next one very very soon.